Good morning, folks. You could fit all the planets of the solar system inside this half circle created by arcing plasma and the incoming mega sunspots. We'll come back to those. First, we're at Madagascar, watching the track of Bejisa, having pounded Reunion Island and now heading further south into the west. You can see secondary lows west of Madagascar and on the African continent. Kick it up to India and Sri Lanka, where southern residents are eyeing tropical development just offshore, with a brisk chill leading that storm. Coming up to Europe, you think my comments yesterday about yet another storm coming were off? Think again. Storm surges are not going to stop. The winter superstorms like the one that pulled 140 mile per hour winds two weeks ago will be far more frequent. Get ready, she's coming. Only other weather watch today is across the pond and actually not related to the storm surges in New England now. We're about to shatter cold records. There is a power low cell driving counterclockwise and pulling down cool air on the west side further south than usual. System is expected to creep up this line and blow out to maintain the cool south shift on the west edge of the low. If you live in the Gulf states and are ignoring my talk of cold, wake up, I'm talking to you. When a record breaker came before the Northwesterners were ready in October, it killed 70,000 cattle. To give you an idea, there may be frost on the beaches of the Gulf. It will sleet and snow in places like Albany, Georgia. It will be single digit temperatures in the southern states with wind chills way below zero, and it'll be your livestock and your outside pets. I don't care what idiosyncrasies you have, this is not a joke. Prepare your animals now and let your pups stay inside for two or three days. You will live, it's fine. Solar wind, really, really taking its sweet old time to come back down. The disturbance waning slowly takes a good bit of the post-storm instability out of the equation. And yet, on the proton flux, we see evidence of radiation surges at the poles. This is not due to the solar wind, but a limb CME that released just after we had the double M flare event last night, first one being of much longer duration, hitting M4 and popping a significant CME as you can likely guess from the surface volatility. Looking at SOHO, revealing many missing frames but more than enough to know it is a halo eruption. We will detect this impact at Earth, likely be a medium event only with almost no chance of satellite or grid damage. We continue to monitor the departing sunspot group for more limb flaring, as I believe that racked the protons, not the M4. But truly, we have a sunspot that is indeed now capable of an X-class solar flare. I would first like to comment that the southern regions still have the positive lead, with red negative leading up north, showing that the solar polar flip is not yet 100% complete. But more importantly, I the two delta spots in the back of the beast, in the south and then the north edge about 2.5 degrees behind the lead umbra. Positive green coronal holes departing, negative red incoming. Jupiter is geocentrically opposing the Sun today, and as that ends, Mercury will conjoin Venus. The dark incoming on the top left is one big coronal hole. Got shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.